Well, my whole idea for a video here just got completely screwed up because of what I did last week. So what you guys are about to watch and follow me along with is actually behind the scenes going into the show for the Cheetah Championship. I'm sure most people know by now that I made the cut for the Cheetah Championship and yes, we were gonna just do a normal tournament vlog for this, but the problem is I have so much content right now on my camera that I can't even begin to think about how I'm gonna go through all of it. So here's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna start off by giving you guys an overview of what happened. We got through the PTQ for the World Series of Bowling and I was throwing it really good. I knew that on short I was gonna have a good look and I actually told my parents if you guys wanna come up and watch any of the patterns, you probably should watch Cheetah because that'll probably be my best bet for making a run at match play. I just knew I had a really good look with urethane here at Thunderbolt and I felt confident what I was doing. And sure enough, after 15 games, we find ourselves sitting sixth overall and heading into match play. I then drew Nick Pate for my first round and I had the best look in the building and everybody kind of knew it. Even Brett told me, he's like, dude, you got the best look in the house. Just go out and make shots and the pins will fall the way they need to. And I ended up winning match one against Nick Pate, 3-0. Um, I had an incredibly good look. I went front eight on him the first game. And then I go to BJ Moore. And this match was a little bit closer when it came to just scoring wise. BJ had a great look with the IQ 78. We split the first two games. We were up 1-1. But then, as proceeded to happen the rest of the week, it happened here in match play, my look with urethane just got better, where everybody else's just got worse. And so I proceeded then to beat BJ three to one in the last two games, I ended up shooting 250, 250 against him, and just had a phenomenal look and locked up my first show. I uh, am the second seed on the show because Marshall Kent came back from 0-2 against Cody Shoemaker to then become the top seed, which I am stoked about because that means BJ, although I did beat him in the round of eight, becomes the five seed on the show. And I have nothing but mad respect for BJ Moore. He is literally one of the coolest guys, most genuine human beings, pure heart, pure spirit guys you'll ever meet. And to get the chance to bowl on a TV show with BJ, Alec Keplinker, uh, Dio Bernard and Marshall Kent. It is awesome. So here's what you guys are going to do. You guys are going to see us go through the next two days here. Today is Sunday, the day before the show. Uh, we're going to go practice for a little bit, head to Thunder Bowl. There's a pro-am tonight. I'm not sure if I have to bowl it. I'm going to be honest with you. The instructions were kind of wishy-washy on who's bowling and who's not. So we're going to head over there, and if we're not bowling it, I'm still going to practice. I need to get some reps in for tomorrow. And then tonight, since it's Masters Sunday, Elizabeth and I are going to go to Applebee's and watch the final round of the Masters because we have gift cards. I'm trying to save money. But, yeah, I didn't really know what to do with this. I didn't expect it to make it this far. We literally have hundreds of videos right now of me bowling through this week. And I really was kind of overwhelmed looking at what to do with it. So I figured here's what we're going to do. We're going to just make a video with kind of the overview and then heading into tomorrow for the telecast. Also, we're 13th for the World Championship. We made the cut of the top 16. So we have 16 games of round round and match play heading up Thursday. And I will take you guys along for the ride for that. And that will be more like a normal vlog. And uh, top nine make it to the show there. So hopefully we can put together a good run. We're only like 50 pins back right now of ninth place. So there's definitely some opportunity to run down some, uh, run down another show there. But for now, let's go have some fun, get ready for the show. Let's just enjoy this. i to be honest with you guys, I'm still a little shell-shocked about what happened. I don't think it really sunk in yet because I'm still in like competition mode. But uh, I'm sure when we get to tomorrow and the lights are on and everything's kind of come full circle, we'll be uh, right where we need to be mentally. So for now, let's go get some practice in. She is tired of sitting here and watching me making a video. So let's go get this day started. Let's have some fun and get ready to try to win a PBA national title, guys. It's gonna be fun. I think I broke it. Anyways, change of plans. We're not bowling the Pro-Am because I'm not cool enough. I'm just kidding. They already had their bowlers. They didn't need me. And if you make a show, you're exempt from the Pro-Am so that we get an extra day off. So we're going to take advantage of that day off, y'all. We're going to go play some miniature golf so I can get destroyed by her because she is a putt-putt savage. And then we got a tea time tonight at 4 o'clock at a place called The Lynx, which is just, I don't know, about 20 minutes east of us here, or west of us, west of us. And we're gonna go enjoy a beautiful day here in Detroit. It is sunny and 75. It is literally the definition of perfection when it comes to weather. We're gonna go have some fun, relax, and then just enjoy this day off. And we'll get to the bowling tomorrow. So if I don't see you guys until tomorrow, 
see you then. Well, good morning, guys. It is the day, the day, Monday, April 15th, Cheetah Championship, Fox Sports 1, 7 p.m. tonight. It's kind of crazy, isn't it? Man. But uh, we're ready for it, I think. I hope. Last night was really great. We had a very chill night last night. We took to yesterday off. We went out and played golf. Uh, we went to Applebee's, just had a very relaxed night. Went and played mini golf. And it was just a day that her and I had been wanting for a while just to kind of relax. And this morning, her and I both slept in as late as we could. We kind of knew tonight was going to be kind of bonkers and that, you know, anxieties and uh, emotions were going to be running rampant. So we both decided to sleep in as long as we possibly could and just get as much rest. And we did. I slept great. She did too. It was a great night last night. Uh, this morning, I got up and did just a very, very light workout with my resistance bands I didn't do anything crazy, don't want to be sore, but I just want to get the body moving again, activate um, just the mind and muscle connection and just feel things. Uh, I'm really bummed, I haven't been in the gym in a couple weeks, I haven't deadlifted or squatted in a while and that makes me very frustrated, but that's the price you, pray, price you pay when you're out here on the road bowling. Uh, hopefully we can get back there soon. I would like to say um, this past week has been a huge testament to all the lifting I've been doing. Uh, although I don't look the way I'd like to look right now, uh, I'm holding on to a little way I'm not a fan of. I will say that this past week uh, has shown all of the lifting and trying to get stronger and be more efficient uh, and just have better mind to muscle connection has paid huge dividends because I have gone the whole week and yes, I was a little fatigued after Cheetah because that was just, that was four days in a row of just nonstop bowling and uh, emotionally and mentally wrecked. Uh, I was able to then come back and still be able to compete at a very high level for Scorpion and Shark. I even gave a good run at running down the Shark number and uh, my recovery was great. I felt great all week, although I was a little fatigued. I just was able to like battle through it a little bit better now that I'm sitting, you know, about 20 pounds heavier, and I'm just sitting fuller and and stronger. Uh, back when I was younger, when I would go through weeks like this, my hand wouldn't last more than maybe three or four of these days, and then I'd have to take almost a week off to get the whole body to recover. Uh, after we missed the Scorpion show or the Scorpion match play. I literally that night to the next morning, I felt great again. So I'm very, very pleased with the progress I've made in the gym and with the recovery and just taking care of myself. Uh, even though I don't look the way I like to look, I'm, I'm a fan of where we're at right now. So hopefully we can just work on trimming up that diet a little bit, making things just a little bit better. But for now, I'm pleased with it. But today, we are going to have as much of a chill day as we can because we don't need to spike the emotions. Well, they're already spiked, but you guys know what I'm saying. We're gonna cook some lunch here in a little bit. Elizabeth's finishing up getting stuff around to get ready. I'm gonna go get ready here in a little bit and then we're gonna make some burgers with some eggs. The reason being, I know those don't hurt my stomach. I know I can digest those pretty well and I won't have to worry about anything bad happening when we're at the show. Um, and then after we're done making our lunch here and getting ready to go, we're gonna go get some refreshments. Then we're gonna head over to the bowling alley a little early. I've got three urethane balls that I threw all week and I wanna just freshen, freshen them up. Um, fresh surfaces, make sure grips are good, make sure the tape's good in the thumb holes. I do have to change the tape in my spare ball because that kind of got wonky this week. Can't really explain to you guys why. It's really hard to explain, but the feel just wasn't good. Still managed to make spares, I don't know how, but we're gonna do that. And also, I just wanna get in the arena and just kinda get the vibes of where I'm gonna be at today. I'm a big believer in if you're comfortable with where you're at, it's easier to perform. Uh, kinda the same idea as home field, home field advantage. If I am accustomed to my surroundings and what I'm looking at in the environment, it's gonna be much easier for me just to go out and make shots because I'm used to what I'm seeing and, and what the vibe is. So I wanna get there a little early. Hopefully they let me into the arena and I can at least just get taped up in there, maybe put some music on in my head and just get used to what I'm looking at, what I'm feeling and kind of just get accustomed to what today's gonna to be like. So. Today's gonna be fun. I'm gonna take you guys along for as much of this ride as I possibly can. I don't know how much they're gonna let me film. This is the first time I've ever done anything like this. So we will see how much they let me bring the camera along, but hopefully they let me bring it along for most of it. I'll keep you guys up to date on what's going on mentally and emotionally, and hopefully we can have a very fun day and try to go win a PBA title. So let's get to it, guys. It's gonna be a good day. Let's have some fun.
Well, I would love to sit here and tell you guys that I just went out and mashed them on my first ever telecast, but that would be a lie. Um, that was an experience I will never forget, and I first want to say thank you to everybody who came out and supported us. We're just bowlers knocking down pins, and we had a packed house in there, and it was rowdy, it was fun, and it was a blessing to be there and to compete with all you guys, or in front of all you guys. Also, want to give a huge shout out to Jopo Emotive. Uh, they are just, I'm, I do not deserve all the um, support I get. So thank you guys. But let's let's talk about it because that's what we've been doing for the past 30 minutes. Um, I know a lot of people are going to say ball choice, wrong ball. Here's what I'm going to say. I averaged two thir- or 240 for 22 games on Cheetah with my eyes closed. And I threw reactive once, or I threw reactive four times. It went in the ditch once. It went runaway Brooklyn another. And then it missed that pin right and then went high flush. Those are my four shots with reactive resin this entire week on Cheetah, and there's just no need for me to go do anything else. Do I understand that the choice was made on TV may have not been perfect? Yes, but I also trusted that ball, and I trusted what I did all week. just happened to not work out on the TV pair. So people can get upset for not making the right ball choices. I personally was going in there with one decision. We're throwing urethane. It worked great all week. I had a fantastic look in our 30 minutes of practice on the TV pair. Um, actually, there was a span of about 15 minutes where I didn't miss. And um, you just you can't run away from that. And I was jittery. Um, I missed at least half of them off the, at the bottom. I didn't really catch all of them. I will say that. That was the first thing I told her. So I was, I was really nervous on the first couple, and I, like, missed them. But uh, really only one shot that I wish I could have back, and that would be the second one, the frame two, that super washout. And everything else, didn't hate it. It just wasn't my game. And I just want to give a huge shout-out to Deal Bernard, my boy, in winning his first PBA national event. That is so sick. So congrats, Dio. Um, she... Uh, got more FaceTime on TV than I did, and she let me know about it as soon as we got in the car. <laughs> so I'm a little salty about that. So maybe that means I need to go make the World Championship show and put our cap in there for a run at a major championship. I think that sounds great. But to give the night a kind of a, a round off send off, it was awesome. Thank you to everybody who supports me, everybody back home, all the help I get. I don't deserve it. I'm truly, truly blessed. Thank you guys so much. Thank you for everybody who came out and supported us bowlers. When it comes to this, I really hope it's not the last. But if it is, honestly, I wouldn't want it any other way. I had an absolute blast. So I love you guys. Thank you so much. We got a world championship to go bowl. Also, sorry for not getting as much content as I would like. It's mostly picture form. But we'll make sure to do better for the world championship. See you guys then. Keep everything straight off the hook. I love you guys. Let's go run down a major title.